what I'm going to talk about today is which router do I put in or on my CNC. Uh, CNC Shark recommends the Bosch router. Uh, I have one of those. It's right here. It's the first one that I bought. It's a Bosch Colt and it didn't hold up well for me. Um, I had it for maybe half a year, no, a little over a year and it quit. So I got a hold of Bosch and they rebuilt it for me. It lasted another six hours after I got it back. So I wasn't happy with the results. I was happy with their warranty because they did warranty it, but once it was repaired, it didn't work. So it didn't hold up. So I, I wouldn't recommend that. That's just my personal experience with Bosch. Uh, one of the advantages of it is that it, uh, just get rid of that one. One of the advantages of it is that it does it's variable speed, and that's what the problem I had was when uh, that variable speed electronics broke. And when it breaks, the router quits. When it was working, it worked fine. The advantage, of course, is I could do some plastics with it. I could do some other things. But the reality was I don't do that very often. I mostly work with wood. And working with wood, it didn't hold up for me. So when it quit the second time, I stopped using it, obviously, because it quit. And I went to one I had before, Porta Cable. This is the next one I used, the Porta Cable. It was $99 on sale at Home Depot, so I bought one of those. I installed it, and it worked great. It still works great. I use it to trim uh, countertops and things like that now. So it's still a working router that works well for me. The problem is, with all router systems, they are really, really noisy. Uh, I used this one on my 2x2 um, two two machine, and then I was using this quarter cable, which is a monster quarter cable that I've had for years. It has quarter inch and half inch collets. I used it on my bigger machine. So let's get that out of the way. Because the problem with the routers, um, both of these routers run full blast all the time. When you turn it on, it is running at maximum RPMs and it is loud. So I get tired of the noise. Uh, one of the things that you'll find out when you're running these machines is that noise, like that traffic you hear going by, can be loud. Okay? So I was happy with this port of cable, I was happy with this port of cable. And I like them both. I recommend them both. But what did I end up with finally? Keep in mind what I said to the port of cable is that all routers is they're so loud that you better have a set of these on and I recommend wearing earplugs underneath these. Um, the reason I say that because I know a lot of retired elderly woodworkers like myself they can't hear. Uh, I can because I've used hearing protection most of my life. I work construction and work heavy equipment and these are a godsend. Um, they help you protect your hearing so that you can hear those grandbabies one of these days. So we're highly recommended. So what did I end up with to get it so it was quiet enough that I could keep it in my garage or basement without the wife saying, could you turn that down? So what did I do? I went back the next wave and I got one of these, a spindle. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's quiet, it's water cooled. And when you turn it on, sometimes especially with the hearing protection on, because you still wear your hearing protection because the noise that the bit makes when it contacts the wood. With the hearing protection on, it's quiet enough that sometimes I forget that it's running. So you have to be careful not to reach in there and touch that moving bit. So that's my recommendation. Porta Cable has been a good brand for me. Um, I've enjoyed using it for years. I was really excited about the variable speed Bosch, but it just did not hold up for my application. I know it worked for good on the trimming, the countertops, but the problem with what we've got going on here is that the router runs for hours. The longest I've uh, machined in operation is 49 hours, continuous machining, um, because I was doing a giant carving. 
and it took 49 hours of rough and finished cutting. So these routers, the trim routers, as well as the regular routers, the large routers, are designed for short-term operation. You're talking 15, 20 minutes usually when you route it. If you run that long continuously, your arms are going to be tired. So I recommend if you're going to get into this and have fun with it and protect your ears that you actually step up to a spindle. And I've been asked about the ones that are online. The difference between the ones that are online and the ones you get from uh, Next Wave, uh, the ones online are cheaper, the warranty's shorter, but you have to put it together. In other words, you have to take and machine, uh, not machine, but solder the leads and connectors, figure out which wire goes where, run it all the way back down the cable. So you build your cable, you program your box, get all that done, it's $350 is what Next Wave charges for it. And if you think about it, um, that's basically the difference between what you get online and what you pay them for one of these. Theirs is, has a longer warranty, it comes complete, it's plug and play. Um, that's the advantage. If you want to take the time or if you've got the skill to do it the other way, go ahead and save yourself $350. Bucks. But it, I've done it once. Not excited about doing it again. So, have a good day. Hope you learned something. If you got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.